Noe Blonde. So next on the list is Noe Blonde. It definitely looks like the part of a high-end club. I expect they'll have a fine selection of both white and women. Okay, enough of the sparkling eyes. It's my first time visiting an establishment like this. How about we start by asking the staff some questions? Oh, look at that, someone's leaving. Oh no, it's Ballad. Whee, that year, uh, uh, 1176 Grand Chardonnay was divine. He's here? What's Marquis Bell, uh, uh, Marcus Bella doing in Raquel? Thank you for choosing us as your host yet again. We look forward to your next visit. Well, it was an absolute, absolute delight, my good man. I shall be back tomorrow once all that crap has been dealt with. Uh, and when I do, you may shout from the rooftops that this here is the Duke's favorite place to be. You're, you honor us. Please take care on your way back to Ordis. Baja, uh -huh, of course. That guy's supposedly the next Duke Cayenne. Shouldn't he be preparing for the Imperial Provincial Council? And contrary to his behavior, I heard he's proven himself to be an excellent businessman. Or is he uh, being puppeted by someone else? He's turned quite a profit investing in the construction of a plant from the Reinford Company. That's a surprise. It's about the only good thing he's known for. As a temporary family head, he's mostly known for abusing his power. We're preparing the club now for all customers. Try to have everything ready by 9pm. Yes, sir. I need to fix my makeup. Um, excuse me. Good evening. Were you play hoping to come inside? I'm afraid we just finished hosting a private party. We'll need a bit more time to prepare for reopening. That's too bad. I was hoping to play. Do you host private events often? Not particularly. The Marcus just happened to be a frequent customer. I cannot provide many details as a part of our privacy policy, but he's been coming every day recently. Every day? As any useful information will be hard to come by. How should we even approach the subject of the Red Constellation? Now may I ask you something, sir? Are you the Ashen Chevalier, Mr. Reen Schwarzer? Wow. <laughs> he surprised me. I was hoping I wouldn't be so easy to recognize in, this dark, in the dark. But you're wearing your trademark outfit from the Civil War. I've developed a good eye since I started working here. You also stand out when accompanied by such lovely faces. I presume then that you have some interest in our old management? That's obvious, huh? Wait a minute. Are you going to tell us about the ogre and her little entourage? You could take it that way, I suppose. The last time they were here was a few days ago. They should be long gone from Raquel by this point. Oh. That's a shame. Thanks for cutting right to the chase. Is this an admission that they're still affiliated with this location? Not in the least. They were only here to give the regards. I just thought I'd save you a bit, a, a bit of time. It would please me if you return next time as a customer. It would be both an educational experience for you and a joy to our hostesses to serve one of your, one of your status. Heck, quite the businessman. You can count me on me to come back. Excuse us. Nothing about the new group, though. We now know for certain that New Way Blonde was once a source of income for the Red Constellation. It's hard to say if they're still affiliated, but that manager, from my perspective, was sincere. I don't believe he was lying either. What would the, be the point for him? So, should we put the Red Constellation investigation on hold? I think so. We're short on time, so let's move on. Next is the members only casino, Alicia. Which had information on Zephyr? Alright, right when you are. Black! Your Lordship, I told you, drinking so much would be dangerous. Oof, not as dangerous as you're driving. Ugh, oh, here comes the next wave. I don't want to go anywhere near that. We should avoid attracting attention. Come on. Black. Damn it, I'm gonna have to splice that in somehow. It's a pretty small scene, nothing major. But still. Here's where Zephyr was last spotted. In we go then. Welcome to Alicia. Will you let Kara show us your membership card? I knew we'd need a membership card. What's this, new customers? Why not register with us? It's only a thousand mira per person. If you, when you register, you can also bring friends as guests. That's not a bad price. Alright, I'll register. Please, Reen, allow the RMP to cover. Uh, it's fine, he's all grown up. Let Reen show off a little for us. Oh, certainly. <laughs> How's getting a card showing off? Woohoo, I'll get you set up right away. After a simple registration process, Reen received his membership card. 
What if I didn't have a thousand Mira? Judging from the time, this is probably going to be my last investigation of the night. Is there anything last minute stuff I need to check up on in the city? Oh, are you coming in? We've got four guests coming right in. Yep, last chance to do that side quest with a giant worm. This is really nice. Tell me about it. Certainly right at home in the city of entertainment. But look how crowded it is. It's a shame we don't have time to play tonight. Well, there's always next time. Hey, did you get yourself a membership already? Sheesh, you're really gonna come back, huh? Anyway, this is where Zephyr was last spotted. Be careful. Right. There's a green marker. Hello there, would you like to play? You can make a, a hundred thousand Mira in a single night, you know. A hundred thousand Mira? And I presume someone here has? Indeed, it was just last year. We had a common individual, I shall call him, walk in with more luck than one would, most would dream of having. They held fast to one rule, don't leave the city with a single mirror in their pocket. And so they spent everything they won and more in the club that night. That being said, they were truly in a state of regret upon waking up the next morning. Hmm, what a lame ending. I agree, it would have made for a better story if they had no regrets. I'm sure most have come across their share of regrets thanks to liquid courage. Not every day you hear of someone blowing that much at a casino. This might be a good story for Monk. <laughs> I'll sit. Nothing new for you guys. Okay. Welcome. Would you like to play a card game? We're playing blackjack here. Did, did they not implement mini what, the uh, the casino mini games? Hmm. So what kind of prizes do you have? Welcome, you can exchange Miro for coins here. We can't afford to play around right now. Damn it, maybe next time. Maybe I'll ha play when I've got a minute to myself. With the, f with the infinite mirror trick, it might be easier to just make, uh, uh, just get, uh, just use that to get the medals instead of playing the games directly. Oh hey, I see someone there. Three in s suspicious individuals. That's some crowd over there by the poker table. Should we take a look? Well, this will end the Should we proceed? Check poker table. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. This hand's a beaut. I like this a bitch. I messed up. Say, is it too late to back out on that bet? That's unbecoming of the king, you know. Oh, low blow. All right, dealer. Let's get this show on the road. If you would, gentlemen, please show your hands. Full house, read them and weep. Sorry, four of a kind. What? For love ideas, you gotta take it easy on this old part. What do you have? I might play you a little too hard on this one. A royal flush. Oh? Gotta be kidding me! Well, I certainly know how to bluff. You've won all the chips on the table. Sorry, but let me have this one. You still got it, boss. You have had to be- have- you have to have been cheating, right? Huh, where were you, Zeno? I thought traps were your thing. Yeah, you're- you're young. You can bounce back from a loss or two. What do you say? How about the winner buys the losers a drink? Damn it, get off your high horse. Aren't you? Well, hey, nice to see you again. <laughs> Where'd I see you before? Sutherland? You're a sight for sore eyes, Purple Lightning. Yeah, yeah, good to see you, Jaeger King. I'm amazed you can greet us so casually. If he's the Jaeger King, then he's fees. You would be the head of Zephyr, correct? Long time no see, I see, maiden. Hmm? Have I seen this other one around somewhere before? You'd make any man jealous being surrounded by such beauties. All right. What do you say we take this little chat to that lounge by the corner? That is what you came here for, isn't it? Yes, please.
What, you didn't order a drink? The night is still young. Don't be shy about the price, it's all on me. <laughs> Ugh, easy for you to say. Thanks for the offer, but we're in the middle of work. Not to mention, I don't have the balls to get drunk in front of you guys. Oof, suppose it never hurts to be cautious. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. And what, may I ask, brings a daughter one of the four great houses and the icy maiden to me? I'm not here in any official capacity. It would be a waste not to enjoy Raquel's night life after coming all the way to La Mer. Fair enough, take a load off then. By the way, I always want to thank you for taking care of Fee. That's not something you need to thank us for. We're, we were classmates, of course I'd help her. Fee decided on her own to join Class 7 and become a bracer. If you've got time to thank us, then why not go talk to her? Ouch, you don't mince words, do you? It does sting a little. So as we told you in pe on the Pentagirl, we appreciate you looking after her. Alright, do you mind we get back to business? You're not going to pretend it's some coincidence we saw you here, right? Where are you, where are you helping the Black Workshop with? This is really nice. Hmm. Hey, you don't mince words either. I like that. Why not ask a little more then? Are you curious about what you saw in Silverland? That shadow. Yeah, sure, I'm curious, but will you give me an answer? Not for free. We Jaegers aren't ones to just, to just talk to anyone. Huh? How about we play this? What is that? Is that Avengers Master's deck? I think it is. We've been playing recently. Here's the real game. If you beat all of us, we might be inclined to let you in on what you want to know. That's all we have to do? You sure are a real piece of work. Boss. I'm not going to back you up if you complain later. We should always give the young one a fighting chance. Besides, the reward is always weird when you take it by force. How, so how about it, Schwarzer? That's fine, I don't mind telling you. But taking your spoils by force is the Jaeger's way through and through. Is that okay with you? Like father, like daughter. If that's what you want, I accept. I, pl I played Blade, so if it's easy to pick up, I'll join in. It's a little bit more complicated than Blade. The only problem is if I need to, to make my own deck from scratch. If only this were blackjack or poker. We can't make this too easy for you, Major. I got two of the same deck. Seems fair enough if we use an identical set, yeah? I would say so. Let me be the judge for this. We need some, someone to look out for cheating. Hey, do as you like. I'll play one then. I'll play two. How about we do the matchups? I'll go against the Purple Lightning. And I'll take the Icy Maiden. I guess that leaves me and you. Now, now, don't bear your fangs just yet. Save those for the game. Yeah, this would be... This pretty much encourages you... If you didn't do any Badge Masters matches since the beginning of the game, that could be an issue, couldn't it? Angelica can confirm the decks were indeed identical before allowing the games to begin. I'll play Transmute. I'm telling you, you don't want to use that card just yet. You're good. I'll use my blaze to power up and do six points against the master. That was a strong move. How are you two holding up? They're both good, but the other side's pushing hard. Come hey, come on now, focus more on your own game. You don't want to miss what I'll do next. I activate the Curia Bell card. Damage to all. Ugh, you can't lose here. <laughs> you all suck. What? What on earth? Just what are you all doing here? <laughs> We're here to rescue you again. Took us long enough to find you. Hey, I remember you lot. See some new faces too. Nice to see you again, Black Rabbit. <laughs> what brings you guys here? That's our line. We came all this way to find you playing cards. <laughs> Let's talk later. Okay then. Let me sub in for you, Valestine. I can turn your game around. Uh, you doing subs? I know this game to some extent. I'm not quite as adept at with complex calculations as you, Major, but will you mind if I took your place? Um, hmm. Are you too serious? Whew, yeah, I've hit my limit. It's true that they most likely know the game better than us. We, uh, even in the card game, we need to be bailed out. Do you take issue with the change? I don't personally. There's nothing wrong with mixing things up. Let's see how you play. 
Are you two really sure? Well, this is an interesting turn of events. Let's say we start over with him. Why even offer when you're the one who's winning? You've been too focused on what your partners were, were doing. Doesn't make it as fun for me. Let's start fresh and take the game seriously this time. Alright, if you insist. I'll even let you play with your own deck if you want. I'm sticking with mine, of course. So should I keep using the Yager King's deck? I might stand a chance with my collection. Use personal deck. Well, since you're fine with it, I'll go ahead and use my own deck. Ha, <laughs> good. Alright, right when you are. Are you gonna be okay? I don't know, but what choice do we have? There's a point that's none other than the Jaeger King. We'll simply have to wait and see. Good luck, kids. And to you as well, Reen. Alright, then let the rematch between Rutger and Reen continue begin. Here it goes. Bring it. Beast! This guy's really strong. Counter attack seal plus two damage, so I can't just attack randomly. Damn it, this is actually really tough. I hope I can get his beast card for winning. Can't even use my skill right now. Damn it, he's gonna take that magic crystal. I might have to restart this due to my bad draw. Didn't attack, weird. Hmm. Hey, so to this. Raku so I can get my next card a little quicker. Hmm. Damn. Got to restart this. Blaze? Oh no. I should have played someone else first. Oh well. Alright then. He's got so many magic crystals to take advantage of too. I have not drawn a single fucking Blix. That really sucks. Hmm. Hmm. 
his skill. That might be the safest way. It'll only do damage to the beast, though. Cost three mana, okay. Hmm, that's a suicide attack. Nerd to calm. That costs six. How much will I have left? Three, which is enough for the cast, huh? You know, where are you up to? Suicide attack. Why hasn't he moved his beast on the magic crystal? If he was serious, he probably could have beaten me by now. Oh, now he's doing it. Now he's getting serial. Almost got it. The comb do it. Whoa there, look at you. AP increased by three. The master's been defeated. Reen wins. Whew, I won. I <laughs> guess that does it. Yes, but I didn't get his beast card. Congrats on the win. But Musa and Nash are still playing. What, that's all he got? 
What the hell? Free vanishes for 18 points? You're killing me. How long have you been holding on to those? Don't tell me you were. You ain't gonna say I cheated without proof, are you? It's just common sense to hold on to your best move until the very end. Can you even get 18 points? Huh, oh, I like you. And that's the end of my turn. And that's the end of the game. I lost. I say, I, I'd say using uptight in round 3 saw of that. You didn't, did well think so far ahead. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I just happened to have good draws. Um, so everyone won. I'm surprised they were all able to make a comeback. Each of them displayed an impressive amount of strategy. And Ash probably cheated, but at least he's good enough to hide it. I'll be in. I think all three of us would slip up. Guess I really am getting old. I mean, it doesn't feel like we won. Not only did my students have to come in and save me, but you gave me a second shot when you were winning. Yeah, but win's a win. I keep my promises. Time for your reward. I'll answer a few questions for you. That thing I showed you is called Zector. Sorry, that's the most I'm gonna say on that one. You mean the one we saw at Summerland? Zector feels like a suitable name for a divine knight. Here's what else I want to know. Including Zephyr, I noticed four groups in action. That makes you, the Red Constellation, Needhog, and an unidentified group of Purple Jaegers. What's everyone's objective here? Um, keep it going, straight shooter. Figured you'd ask. Each course has different objectives, but you could break it down to two sides. On one side, you got the Red Constellation and those Purple Jaegers. On the other side, you got us and Needhog. They were hired by the government. The government hired Jaegers? That does clear up some things. And the teams are about in line with what we expected. Just to make sure, Zephyr and Needhug are on the same side, but you weren't hired by the government, or, right? Exactly. We've got similar interests, so we're choosing to back them up. I'll bet you already know who hired us. And you probably already know the Red Constellation is siding with the Society. Which brings us to what you don't know, the identity of the Purple Jaegers. Surely you've realized who they are by now, Sarah Valestein. The Northambrians. The dead soldiers who, even after losing the Northern War, couldn't throw their pride away. The deserters from the Northern Jaegers. Huh? The Northern Jaegers. Uh, are they? They're a large-scale Jaeger Corps, which was based in the former North Ambria state. I was afraid of this. Sarah. <sighs> <laughs> hey, hold up! We won. And you're not giving us Jack besides a name and who's backing who? What can I say? We're fine with letting a little secret slip out here and there. But you ain't earned more than that. I think that's plenty for now. Um... Those are cards he didn't use. He could have won at any time or something, right? Screw off. I knew it. I will say, though, those were some solid matches. See you again soon. Yes, even even card games were not allowed to win legitimately anymore. This was fun. Later. Should the chance come, let's play again. Until then. What if you had fought him, uh, and he uh, and beat him when he didn't have any cards in his hand? What would happen then? Look at his cards. Th that was his hand. He could have dealt lethal damage with this combination, and he would have been free to play them at the end. He was going easy on us. Um... That goes here, and this goes there, I see. What? look at his master. Was he cheating too? I don't think he was, he's just that good. Where did he even get the beast card anyways? Well played, Jaeger King. Well, as he said, a win is a win, and we got some answers. Actually, he'd always have a lot of cards in his hand because of his master letting him draw multiple times. It didn't sound like much, but what he said spoke volumes. You should be proud, Reen. You do too as well, Musa and Ash. His master can be taken out with ranged attacks to prevent his super strong counter. But that's about it. Um. Oh, thank you. Heh, <laughs> no prob. Should have said it first. Thanks for helping me. But you will explain why you were in a casino unsupervised, I'm sure. Oh dear, I've suddenly become lightheaded after such an intense match and cannot speak. Wait, we're only here because, well, we're just as guilty. Okay, we're just as guilty. Yeah, at least I were able to help the instructor. Perhaps I should practice manage masters in my spare time. You don't get a free pass just because you know how to play a card game.
10.30 p.m. Unacceptable. You are back in active without leave again and again. Why exactly do you feel it's necessary to chase after Instructor Swordsart? That's... We have no excuses. Indeed. Major, I've already given them a harsh warning. I think maybe that might be enough. Silence, this is my Tesla's commanding officer. Disregarding the rules of sneaking out is unacceptable. To make sure that's clear, I'm going to drill into your skulls from now to not lights out. Hmm, but staying up too late is a bit terrible for my complexion. Hey, we're all wiped out, so can you just keep it short? Uh, it's a shame, but I suppose it is what it is. I really need to think about rebalancing my deck. Hey, a little tough love every now and then might do them some good. It just feels wrong. I mean, they're the reason we got that info from the Jaeger King. You can worry about the punishment some other time. Right now, we should be focusing on what we learned. Yeah. We're dealing with a branch unit of Northern Jaegers, people of the Annex Northambria. It's been half a year since the annexation at the nor end of the Northern War. Most of the Northern Jaegers were drafted into the Imperial Army. Still, a large number of them went AWOL. That's right, until now they were believed to have fled to the Midwest. I never thought we'd encounter them here in Lemaire. Given that they were wearing new gear, do you think the society is backing them? Well, they seem to be on the same side as the Red Constellation, so it's a possibility. Damn, this has turned into a real headache. By the way, anyone else surprised to hear the Empire hired Needhog? They didn't share that information with the RMP. I hear that the Intelligence Division often hires Jaegers for their Black Ops. Lecter may be- it should be able to shine some light if we ask him tomorrow. That's enough, Revelt. You may be off duty, but it's not your place to collect classified government information. Try to remember that you are f the foremost representative of the Railway Military Police. Forgive me. A message came in from HQ. You're to be in Heimdall by sunrise. As for the rest of you, you may depart tomorrow morning. It's already late, after all. Sheesh, I know it's his job to be stone-faced, but would it kill him to lighten up a little? Hey, it's pretty sweet when it comes to the students, really. It's true, he's stuck serving two masters, but he really does try. And also, if he had to give Reen a duplicate of his deck, does that mean he has two Beast Master cards? How would he even get something that rare? With his Jaeger money, perhaps? Maybe it's a, a, a super rare card that's bought off the black market and only two exist in the whole world? Seriously, you should have seen him when he first started. He softened up quite a bit. Is that so? Hmm? Okay, we've shared the information we learned today with all the relevant parties. Instructor Sarah, Major Claire, why don't you two take the guest room for tonight? Very well, thank you for your hospitality. That's our Toa, always ready for anything. Oh, you're too kind. Angie, why don't you bunk with me? Of course, I'm always happy to share your bed. See? Randy can fall asleep so quickly. They say it's proof you're a good soldier if you can sleep when you're told. I bet they've got a lot to talk about. It's the first time in the years they've seen each other, just like me and the rest of Class 7. The moon's out tonight. Maybe I'll get some, go get some fresh air. I'll be leaving it early tomorrow too, so I need to make sure I'm not up too much longer. What's the matter? Can't sleep? Well, not exactly. It's just that there's so much going on. I need to sort all my thoughts. I know how that is. Hey, Reen, how about you have a little drink with me before bed? Hmm? Sometimes a little room to brief is all you need to sort yourself out. Here, I'll pour you a bit. This stuff will pro really kick you in the teeth, so you pr should probably just dip your tongue in to start out. Whoa, you weren't kidding. It's Spiritus. Liquor from North Ambria. Said to be the strongest drink in the world. 
Guess it's kind of hard to get much stronger than 96%, though, huh? If I'd taken a normal sip of this, I'd already be on the floor. The stinging on my tongue is turning a little sweet. <laughs> right? I knew you'd be able to appreciate it. Never thought the day'd come when I'd get to talk with you over drinks like this. That new Class 7 of yours? They're a good bunch of kids. Yeah, they've still got a long ways to go, though. I'm struggling as an instructor, too. I just wish I could guide them a little better. They're all pretty unique kids, just like you guys were. But I know things will work out for you. I mean, come on. They were all so worried about you, they ran headlong after you. I'm sure they had a bit of a push from a certain someone, though. You already knew, didn't you? Who those purple Jaegers are. Yes, yeah, so what they said brought back some complicated feelings. At first I wasn't sure, but when I saw your reaction, I knew. That's so. Guess I've still got a ways to go myself in that case. Back then, during the Northern War, I couldn't do a thing. I spent all my time getting rid of all the archaisms that were let loose on the city. All the higher-ups in the Northern Jaegers, the ones who worked with Ouroboros, got away. If I'd captured them, North Ambria's government would have called for a ceasefire. I could have stopped the annexation. That's a nice little scenario, Reen. But you know it's a load of bull, don't you? Yeah, it's impossible for the good guys to capture the bad guys for some reason, if they're also trained combatants. The annexation of North Ambria was done under the Imperial government's orders. Sure, Osborne would have found a way. Way I hear it. General Le Guin agreed to take the place over to keep the provincial armies from being disbanded. The outcome was decided from the start. That's... In the middle of that farce of a war, you managed to save the lives of tens of thousands of citizens. And the Jaegers you met today? I think they know that. Hmm. But maybe it was impossible from the start. Fixing a country already being destroyed from within by Jaegers. He probably knew that too. Who? Whoopsie. Well, you see, he was... Your old commander? <laughs> he was my first love. Really? Well, actually, he was the closest thing I had to a dad. Way back during the Northambrian disaster, when the salt pail covered so much of the principality in a storm of salt, a man took in an orphaned infant. He was a former colonel in the army, and one of the people who founded the Northern Jaegers. As soon as I was old enough to understand anything, I knew that Jaegers who came back with foreign currency were considered heroes. The man who raised me was one of the leaders of the Northern Jaegers, the heroes of our homeland. I looked up to my dad more than anyone. Wanting to be just like him, I joined a juvenile Jaeger Corps at the age of 10. After a few years of harsh training, I was admitted to the main corps at the tender age of 13. It was there that I experienced my first real battle. It was hell. A field of death, where lives are tossed aside to satisfy someone else's desires. There I lived, smoke and blood painted across my body. And there I stayed, eventually becoming the Jaeger known as the Purple Lightning. But after a while, it reached a point where I couldn't take it anymore. When I was 18, I was assigned command of a squad. We had a mission near Erebonia, fighting some proxy war on behalf of the nobles. The enemy was Needhog. My squad was destroying them, but just when we thought victory was ours, our efforts to avoid dragging any civilians into the fight left us open to a counterattack. We got hit hard. And then my dad showed up and saved me. Even though he was serving as the commander for the entire Corps, he came to our rescue and suffered a fatal injury for it. Do you see now? This is the fate of all Jaegers. You must think long and hard on whether you wish to continue down this path. It could have been because he was once part of the Principality's army but he was quite the gentleman. Now that I think back, he never seemed to like the fact that I became a Jaeger. Anyway, 
He left me with those final words and passed away in my arms. I screamed and screamed until my voice gave out, until I passed out from utter exhaustion. When I woke up, I was in an Imperial Army camp. Was that when the instructor Beatrix treated you? Yeah. Apparently they were there to check on the damage caused by all the Jaegers fighting. Neidhardt and Mueller Vander, who were both second lieutenants back then, were there too. They told me the battle had been over for a while, and all my comrades had already packed up and left for home. Hadn't even thanked them before rushing back to my hometown. And what greeted me when I got there were celebrations and congratulations from my friends and the townsfolk. We had lost my father, but we won the war we were hired for. The nobles had given us an enormous pile of Mira. That meant we wouldn't die of starvation during the coming winter. I was relieved, but my tears just wouldn't stop. In order to save my hometown from poverty, I covered myself in the smoke of war and the blood of innocence in foreign lands. Seeing the smiles on the faces of everyone in town and knowing the cost cut me deep. It was right then that I decided to quit being a Jaeger and leave my hometown. I joined up with the Bracer Guild, knowing I could put my combat skills to work and make some decent Mira if I hit A rank. That way I could send some money back home. Money that wasn't stained with blood. I finally understand. The true origin of your strength and kindness. <laughs> I'm not strong or kind. But I think I've finally started to get closer. Little by little. Closer to being like the man I admired so much. My dad. My commander. And my first love. Sarah. Huh, but it makes sense now. No wonder you fall for all the silver foxes. <laughs> yeah. No getting around the fact that I've got myself the daddy of all father complexes. But, you know, lately I've found myself attracted to some younger guys. Huh? Ah. You got me talking too much. You don't watch yourself. You could make a real dangerous womanizer. Well, with that, I bid you good night and sweet dreams. This was an awesome dream, right? Heh, <laughs> oh well. I'll just assume I've been tricked by fairies on the eve of the summer festival. Hmm, didn't add any stars though. Door is locked. Alright, oh, most of the doors are locked at night. Better safe than sorry, I guess. So I can't go outside. What's with this one? Weird. <laughs> I didn't know that happened. <laughs> yeah, you and George really saved my bacon that time. Seems like things are going well. No wonder, they haven't seen each other for a year and a half. Hmm, is that Reen I sense lurking out there? Oh? <laughs> Why don't you come in, silly? Uh, it looks like I underestimated you. Angelica, that's my thing. Seems you've really been sharpening your martial arts skills, huh, Angelica? Yeah, I went and visited a bunch of different schools that have connections to Taito. I think I pretty much packed up my head full of kung fu by now. No wonder, your movements are so sharp now. You are able to meet with your master again, right? The one who first taught you Taito? Yeah, she's from Calvert, so it's pretty hard to get over there to see her. I was able to talk with her about quite a few things while I was there, so it was a good trip. Huh? Um, well, I don't really understand anything about martial arts, but... Were you able to finish your cross-continental motorcycle trip? Now, I haven't been able to hit everywhere just yet. I went around Liberal, Remiferia, Ored, Le Mans, and Arteria. Then, from there, I was able to make it to the central eastern part of the continent. But Eastern Zamoria is kind of tough not to crack. Eastern Zamoria, I've only heard stories. Seems that the desertification has gotten worse and there's less and less land where people can live. That's why there's been such an influx of immigrants moving into Calvert. 
Actually, Master Kafai, my t-shirt is there right now. Oh, is that so? Just what I expect from the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. I asked the local guild branch out there and they said it'd take me half a year to get to the east by land. I was worried about what was going on at home there, here too, so unfortunately I had to give up on hanging that way. Master Kofi said something like that in the letter he sent me. The dragon veins are nearly depleted. Those are the words he used. It seems they have a lot to deal with over there too. If this empire wasn't in such a state, I would have loved to go there and help too. I was actually talking about this with George too. If it's even possible to use our technology to support Eastern Zamoria and stop the desertification there. Once things are finally settled, down, settled and done here in the Empire, it might be something for us and all of you guys from Class 7 to look into. Ah, Angie. See, you truly are something, Angie. But you're right, we've gotten help from a lot of people from other countries. So someday we've got to make sure we're not just contributing to the Empire, but to the entire continent of Zamoria. Now you're getting it, you gotta dream big. After that, Reen Toa and Angelica all reminisced about their days to school days together. Once they had finished their trip down memory lane, Reen bid them good night and left the room. Hmm. Is Major Michael in the next room? Reen can't go to sleep. Now, I just couldn't resist the sight of that gorgeous moon or the calming sound of the waves. That thing I showed you is called Zector. Sorry, that's the most I'm gonna say on that one. Hey, Belmar, does the name Zector ring any bells? My feel as though I faintly remember that name. Ah, uh, yeah, so only a small fragment, I remember something. 250 years ago, during the War of the Alliance, Zector was the name of the Divine Knight under the Sixth Prince Command. Just as I thought. Lucius Reis uh, Arnor, he was the pilot of the Palatinate Knight. No, he not pilot the Knight. The actual Awakener was the leader of a mercenary group hired by the Prince. He was a crafty individual, but he lent the Prince's power. Another mercenary? What coincidence! I see, so there's even a parallel between him and the Jaeger King. But wasn't the Palatinate Knight destroyed by the Vermilion Apocalypse? Correct. As such, it's difficult to say whether the one you saw was the same one or not, but... As long as the Black Workshop and the Gnomes are involved, we can't rule anything out just yet. They could have repaired both Zector and Ordine. Yeah. Wish I at least knew where they were friends or foes. Just because they're working against Ouroboros doesn't necessarily mean they're on our side. We'll simply need to pay close attention to their, to their actions. If you come across any new facts, be sure to let me know. I may recall more information. Can do, thanks. Hmm, so I have to go all the way to the front. Boom, I'll go outside and get some fresh air. Okay. Why are you... Something like that. Is, some, is, is there someone outside? Those voices don't sound like students. Claire and Michael? Now I... Guess I can only leave one way. No one's in charge of this part. Seems there's someone there. Should I check? Hmm. That's enough, Claire. Though you have the Chancellor's protection, your actions today are only going to come back to bite you. Huh. You don't understand, Michael. <laughs> Show Who's yourself! There? That was careless of me. Forgive me, I didn't mean to overhear. Reen. Sorcerer, I don't appreciate you eavesdropping. I've said my piece, but I advise you to really think this over. 
Unless you want what happened to 10 years ago to shackle you forever. I'm really sorry, I just came out for some fresh air. Well, I've got an early morning tomorrow, so I should probably... Reen. Can we talk just for a little while? I want to continue our previous conversation. And we might as well do so in the light of the moon. Of course, you can tell me anything. Michael... Major Irving is my cousin. He was born Michael Revelt. I see now. You two do seem rather close. We were, once. But ten years ago he took his mother's surname. And abandoned the name Revelt. It was after I had the man who took my family away executed. That man was my uncle. His father. What happened? Perhaps you are familiar with the Revelt Company? They're known for making musical instruments. Well, they were originally located in St. Ark. My father was the president and my uncle the vice president. The company was doing well, but more importantly, our family was happy. Until an Orbal car accident. There weren't many of them on the roads back then. A stolen truck crashed into us. Then its driver disappeared into the night. An assassin? In the end, they never found him. It became a cold case. My parents and my little brother died in that accident. But by some miracle, I survived. And my uncle's family took me in. After my father's death, my uncle took control of the company. Though I was grateful to him for taking me in, I couldn't help but ask myself, why was I the only one to survive? Soon after that, while looking through my father's things, I found the account books. Flipping through them, I noticed something strange. Embezzling? The Revelt Company prided itself on offering high-quality, carefully crafted instruments at an affordable price. But certain entries showed unbelievable spikes in profits. I had a feeling something was wrong, so I looked a little deeper. Each account book I read put things in starker relief. At last, I realized what my uncle had been doing right under my father's nose. He was making a fortune selling cheap, mass-produced instruments from abroad under the Revelt Company name. He even had the gall to commission a product he could sell as maestro class to scam people out of even more money. I knew father must have noticed his brother's wrongdoing and planned to question him. But before he could, the accident took his life. When I confronted my uncle about this, he was surprisingly candid. You've got no proof. And if you did have any, I've got several powerful nobles ready to back me up should it come to that. Even if you talk, the most suspicious part of that accident is that you're the lone survivor. Good luck getting anyone to listen to you. And the only person who listened to her was Osborne, right? I was angry, yes. But more than that, I was heartbroken. I didn't know what to do with myself. Until he showed up. I was a friend of your father's in military school. I thought the accident seemed peculiar. Do forgive me for allowing you to suffer for so long on your own. Somehow, he knew the truth behind the accident. But the fact that I knew took him aback for a moment. Until he said... You have a gift. Enhanced cognition. It allows you to grasp every detail, great or small, of any given situation in an instant. It must have awakened during the accident. I was going to mete out the murderer's punishment myself, but I've changed my mind. You have the means and the ability. Why not use them to avenge your family? 
I was petrified when I heard this, lost. All I could see were the smiling faces of my parents and my beloved little brother. That's when I decided to take His Excellency's advice. I gathered every last scrap of evidence I could find against my uncle. I laid everything bare. The plot, the motive, the cover-up, the perpetrator. I had too much evidence to be silenced. I made my voice louder and louder until it reached Marquis High Arm's ears. Soon after, the nobles protecting my uncle stepped aside. My uncle's judgment was swift, harsh, and fair. He was put to death for his actions. I had my revenge. But it came at a price. I lost my family and my hometown. As soon as the company was in my control, I gave the rights to a longtime employee. All so I could enroll in the military academy suggested by His Excellency. All so I could enroll in Thor's. Claire. I finally understand why you hold Chancellor, both why you hold Chancellor Osborne in such high regard, and why once in a while I see sadness in your eyes. <sighs> and it seems to me like Major Michael is worried about you. His tone may have been harsh, but it came from a place of concern. You're right. It was sheer coincidence that we both joined the RMP. But he's always looked out for me both as a superior officer and as a colleague. Not that I've ever felt like I deserved it. I gave in to my desire for vengeance and mercilessly sent my own uncle to his death. Ten years ago, my aunt and my cousins cursed my name as I robbed them of the man they loved. I imagine they must still hate me for what I did. I don't think so, not exactly. At the very least, it's clear that Major Michael really cares about you. Everyone who knows you well, even Instructor Sarah, who isn't your biggest fan, respects you too much to hate you. William and Major Lecter, Elise and Princess Alphen. You know the original Class 7 and me, of course. We all hold you in the highest regard. Green. <laughs> you really are too kind. To be perfectly honest, you remind me of my brother. What was his name? Emil. His name was Emil. If he were alive, I think he'd be about your age. Two in one night, Rain. Ah. Thank you for hearing me out. But I think tonight is the last time I'll compare you to my brother. It's disrespectful, both to him and to the man you've become. Good night, Rain. Sweet dreams. Jeez, what a day. I'm not surprised that I feel wide awake, but it's weird that my heart feels so light. I get the feeling that I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Better head back to my room. Turn to your room to rest. I should head back and get some rest. This is truly an honor. I'm on track so far. Here, a reward. This is truly an honor. Here. A reward. Keep it up. Monks think you get to arrive safely. Updated copy of Black Records. Photo of Sean Sean. Photo of Becky. 
Go to Ferris. Where are they running? Practicing jogging? Okay, good thing I took all my good stuff off of them. Next morning, Sarah, Angelica, and Claire left the camp. Angelica went to Ordis for the Provincial Council and Major Claire returned to Heimdall. Sarah, meanwhile, made for Raquel to continue her search for the Jaegers. And... What, are you telling me the range for today's missions is the entire area we went around yesterday? Yeah, I received a request for a second day from Brigadier General Wallace. They know what's going on with the Jaegers, so there's no need for us to investigate that any further. Let's check out our requests and do our patrols. Understood. The tasks on the second day have usually been fairly exhausting. But it's nice this time appears to be, uh, that this time appears to be more normal. Yeah, but not for long. Yeah, for real. At first our camp gets ambushed, then the tower gets attacked. Well, we certainly won't be able to let our guards down this time either. Let's make the most out of this lull and knock out as many of these requests as we can. We can use the bikes to get around, so we should have plenty of time. Very well. Let's see what requests we have this time. Semi-required? What does that mean? Tale of two shops. Help Ferris. Raising the Bardius. Aberration Abolition. Giant Monster. Oh, this one seems kind of weird. A gigantic monster that appears and vanishes suddenly. Like a chameleon? Could it be? It reminds me of the cryptid that we encountered in Crossbell. Yeah, let's check that out if we have the time. It's near the valley. Maybe I should contact Sarah. The other one is a training request for, from you know Naval Fortress. It would appear we will be practicing against provincial army pro soldiers. Sounds like my idea of a good time. They're supposed to be pretty good, yeah? I guess we can ask them about yesterday while we're there, so I'm fine with that. Heh, <laughs> looking at our options makes it difficult to decide where to go first. Yeah, but there's no rush. Take your time. Alright, with that, the day two of our special ops missions have officially begun. Yeah! Some are required. You'll be able to progress once you complete at least two of them, but I'll complete all of them, of course. Okay, this is just an experiment, but I want to see how strong the borrowed deck is. I'll, I'd rather keep using your deck if you don't mind. Y yeah, you gonna do better this time? Alright, right when you are. Okay. He's supposed to have the beast deck, right? Yeah, so does that mean- I want to see if I can make better use of the beast than him. Wait. Wait a minute. Hey, where's the beast? I I feel cheated. This is cheating. Uh Didn't you say we were supposed to use the same deck? I don't like this. This is this is so cheating and the and his deck isn't even uh, uh, suited to my playstyle anyways. Damn it. Now he's gonna attack me directly. Ow. You move here. Attacking would be kind of dangerous, wouldn't it? 
But with, with Blix, I would have a huge advantage. Okay. Gwen Foss, oh shit. Oh shit, it's actually pretty disadvantageous. Holy crap. But you destroy a lot of your own monsters there, huh? Okay. We power you up. Hmm. Two damage to the enemy. Yeah, things are a lot closer now. I don't have my my usual strategy. Uh. Okay. I'm sure, he still got some tricks up his sleeve. Magic crystal. Sure about that? You're not gonna survive the next turn, you know. Powering up. Now we go for Kamikaze. You only get one AP, even though the deck I feel like is a little bit worse in some ways. Well, it also does seem more balanced than my own deck in, in some ways, too. Yeah, maybe uh, since I had a lot of he maybe I should stack up on he more heaven nadials since they can be used almost immediately. Hmm, gotta think about what his deck does right and what mine does wrong since this is considered a, a lesser AP option. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this let's play of The Legend of Heroes: Trails of Cold Steel 3, please leave a like, subscribe, and/or hit the bell icon. 